As a former right-wing extremist, I wanted to make a response to the Norway terrorist attack. This is more towards the future. I don't want in six months to a year for the extremists to come back out as they did with Timothy McVeigh and start to claim this man was a hero, a patriot, a warrior, a soldier of God. He was none of those things. He was a coward. The same thing as Timothy McVeigh. Our job on this earth that we live on, this little rock that rotates around the sun, is to get along with each other. And when you take innocent lives, let alone any life, period, you are a coward. You are not a warrior. And I know that just like in the far-right anti-government movement in America, they separated themselves from Timothy McVeigh for about a year and then had t-shirts made of how brave he was. One of the lasting images that I'll never forget is a fireman running down the street with a dead little girl in his arms. And the people later on say, that was done by a warrior or a patriot or a soldier. He was a coward. This man in Norway and these attacks in Norway were acts against innocent, innocent young adults and children. Let's not forget this. Let's not forget this pain. Let's not forget the horror that we've seen. Because that's what people tend to do. I do not... It hurts me to know, because I know the truth, that this man will soon be put on t-shirts. He will soon be used on websites as a recruiting tool, as an idol to look up to. He shot innocent people. And please don't do this and say that he did this in the name of God or any other religion. He did it because of his ego. He let his ego drive his actions. I know that my job here is to make peace and be right with the next human being I come into contact with. I know that that's what is want from me and that I hope that you know you is want it from you is to be just a good human being. Thank you.